this is pankaj lahariya and today i am going to present the uh, presentation on a dwdm technology here is the presentation after this presentation you all will able to understand the how, what is dwdm technology and what are the different types of technology and how you can uh, able to troubleshoot fault and what are the different transmission quality parameters which uh, needs to be uh, apply while uh, while troubleshooting in any dwdm link so this is optical fiber cable description here what are the different uh, uh, types of core it has and what is uh, optical tra transmission what are the different uh, network elements which take, uh, take comes in a picture while dwdm link transmission this uh, uh, these are the different multiplexing techniques which we have uh, used earlier and this uh, dwdm uh, network uh, topology uh, which we can use in access metropolitan and long haul networks so now comes with the dwdm technology concepts what is this concept different signals with specified wavelengths are multiplied into a fiber for transmission so why it is necessary why we need dwdm so here is the short definition which i have uh, write it down dwdm transmission technology by which we can transmit this is itot uh, band which is standards of uh, international telecommunication unit these are different types of band so here is the uh, description of uh, what is channel spacing channel spacing is uh, nothing but a uh, spacing between the two different channels these are the various uh, channels capacity on the basis of uh, band we are using in the network <coughs> This is the basic building block diagram of a 1626 uh, Alcatel uh, release 5 uh, product. So here comes the variety. History of DWDM in the late 1980s we used two channels WDM and 1990s and above later. Now we are using the 64 to 160 channels capacity. Here is the two different types of uh, WDM wavelength division multiplexing are of coarse and dense type what is known as dense because we are using the minimal channel capacity uh, ch 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 channel spacing 25 gigahertz by which we can uh, able to implement 96 lambdas or frequency these are the different several main components of WDM system Here is the internal block diagram of WDM. Here we can use SIPs, which are which are uh, optical module, which are using at both the transponders or receiving end, attenuator, post amplifier, pre amplifiers, different types of uh, elements we are use. next comes a uh, what are the different properties of a uh, wavelength wdm you no know, technology there are three r's which is retransmit retime and retime and receive when it pulse of wdm capacity increase large capacity we are uh, we are able to implement upgradeability flexibility these are working on a uh, ad drop multiplexing technology This is a basic connectivity diagram of a 1626 product of Alcatel. Here are different types of cards which are showing here. This is a rodem structure. This is a reconfigurable add-drop multiplexer structure. This is band add-drop multiplexer.
this is a small atrop multiplexer where we can this is a rodem again this is a 1626 Alcatel Max equipment product which is used for long haul applications and when we are using it a regional application there is a number of TRBDs cards which are transponders only capable of catering the uh, 10G capacity bandwidth this is road damage structure these are the structures of uh, different types of boards we are using here main features of session 26 light manager the 96 into 10G wavelengths we are uh, able to amplify now comes the equipment alarms what are the different equipment alarms which uh, we are observing or monitoring to optimize your network uptime there are the different types of alarms and descriptions and what uh, needs to be action uh, which needs to take place to resolve this here is the description so you will find the uh, all of the alarms description here These are these alarms are related to infra. These alarms are related to hardware. Temperature out of range related to the infra. Now comes the DWDM components. What are the different components we are using uh, in DWDM link uh, communication? We are using the single and multi mode fibers. Single mode fibers preferably we use because there is um, low absorption and scattering uh, properties. Short description of patch cords and couplers we are using in the optical fiber communications. System structures optical amplifier, supervisor channels, multiplexer unit, transponder units. These are different types of patch codes we are use, using. Couplers, what are the different types of couplers we have? Now comes the test equipments. What are the test equipments required to uh, troubleshoot the link, uh, link optimization or a link troubleshooting? Now comes the explanation of each and every components of DWDM. Transponders. Transponders always um, takes the inputs from black and white signals which are SDH signals or whether it is FPLS routers something and converts it into the transmit uh, towards the combiner multiplexer different types of optical fibers were uh, optical amplifiers we use sorry EDFA type okay, which is known as a ADM dot amplifier this is Raman amplifier we are using it for long hull application on uh, heavy loss high losses in fiber and this is very expensive and not is being used how is uh, OADM structure Reconfigural ODMs and conventional ODMs.
this is major important role of OSC communication channel because it's a optical supervisory channel which is you being used for management purposes uh, for and uh, management and is must have to communicate with each other so OSC comes in picture transponders and here are the some transmission quality parameters which, uh, which are being OSNR optical signal to noise ratio we should not be high for a healthy communication of the WDM link to measure characteristic dispersion and attenuation which occurs in fiber optic transmission it's a bit error rate a uh, bit error rate ratio these are the quality parameters by which we can uh, able to troubleshoot link this is optical spectrum analyzer is being used for analyzing the noise to signal strength and these are the different types of products and these are basically of alcatel products 1830 pss which is packet switch network now after comes the link budgeting how can we budgeting our link so initially when uh, we have implemented the optical fiber communication on a dwdm network first uh, we need to consider the uh, on the basis of uh, fiber optics uh, type quality and on the basis of a distance thank you very much for listening my video or watching thank you